hello everyone so in this video i am going to discuss about business tool in details uh, previously you have learned about uh, business tool in other videos but uh, now few videos will be in depth on the business rule basically related to scripting and other part so business rule uh, creating a business rule basically what is the business rule a business rule is a javascript that runs when a record is displayed inserted updated deleted or a table is queried so uh, from where uh, we can navigate to business rule so you can go to system definitions then business rules you can click on new and fill the fields as required and click on submit so let's just go to uh, instance and type here system definition and under that uh, you will get the business rules here now uh, you can click new and put the name tables and other detail let's say here you are putting test then you can put here as incident okay and uh, when it is required advanced insert update you can do all these things i will explain it later so business rule when to run a business rule set the criteria timing at which the business rule execute the script logic use order field to control the execution order of a business rule so if you go to the form here you will see the execution criteria means uh, whether it should run to insert update or if you will click advance it should run on delete or query then uh, you can put whether when it will run after before async display and you can put the order if both business rules are of the same kind if one business rule is dependent on other one should run after the previous one finished then you can control that by using the order here uh, you can make use of the conditions to filter the records when uh, on which it should run so basically it is optimizing your code when it should run instead of running every time so you can see set these execution conditions when the script should run so basically we have when the timing of business rule uh, script run related to database operation so we have insert update so you can use the checkbox to execute the business rule when a record got inserted updated into the database we have delete so when a record get deleted from database we have query if checked it execute the business rule login when a table is queried then filter condition uh, you can filter out the records using these filter condition and these checkbox are there then when you can run so you have option before a sync and display then business rule action so business rule can perform a variety of actions without a need of a script so no script is required when you want to set a field value you want to display a message so let's just go here so let me remove advanced now you can go to the action step and you can make use of this set value option here and you can set like uh, uh, work notes if you want to set uh, let's say you want to set uh, state so you can set a state to anything so basically for setting the value you know you don't need the scripting then you want to add some message on certain conditions when your business rule runs you can make use of add message you need not to do the scripting then about action you want to uh, about the form submission basically then you can make use of about action you won't require any scripting so uh, next thing is dot walking in business rule so you can uh, while writing the script you can dot walk in 
is scripting. So let me just remove these options. Okay. So dot working here. Uh, I have this uh, from where I can dot work. So using dot work, you can directly access the field of reference table. So here you have a field option. So let's say I want to dot work to the caller email. Now you have to expand the fields. Then you can expand the caller. And now you can dot work to the email. Now if you go to your script section, there it is. Oh, it just uh, my cursor was at wrong place, so it has inserted it here. Let's just put my cursor here. Okay. So if I go again here, and if I click on email, you can see uh, it got inserted. So you can make use of dot working. Obviously, you can type it, but uh, if you will use this, it will reduce the error chances. There are other things, uh, Glide classes are available here, uh, you can use them, again uh, you can type them, it will provide you the help according to the available function or you can make use of these Glide classes uh, by expanding them and selecting a required function which you need. So, here next slide as I showed you it looks like thank you for watching the video uh, I will be back with next video on business rule with the uh, other concept like uh, when related to when to run please like share and subscribe the channel thank you